good morning it's a rather chilly morning this today it's uh, about 10 degrees Fahrenheit um, right now out here six o'clock in the morning six o'clock a.m. nice sunrise you can kind of see a little bit of it behind me but I uh, wanted to reply to a comment I saw in one of my videos and the guy said that uh, he doesn't personally know anyone that hates the King James Bible and he said I use a King James Bible I use new versions and he said I love the King James Bible it's got some good things it's got some bad things and and whatever uh, you know I don't hate the King James Bible it's just one of many that I use uh, well actually that statement proves that you hate the King James Bible let me illustrate my point <clears throat> my wife her name is Catherine and I love her and and she's been faithful to me and she's a great wife but uh, I also prefer another woman she's younger <clears throat> and uh, you know newer you know newer translation <laughs> And, um, and then there's another woman that's about the same age as my wife and but she's from a different part of the world and and uh, yeah I love her too and I, I have multiple wives you say well now it's different Brian it's a wife compared to a Bible uh, the Bible's not as important as your wife um, I think the Bible is actually more important than a wife to be quite frank uh, the Word of God is very precious and very important and don't give me this nonsense that, oh, you can have a good, close, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ through His Word, through reading His Word, um, and you can read multiple different versions that contradict. Um, sorry, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for one minute. I think that that's wickedness. Uh, Jesus Christ warned about people that would be ashamed of Him and of His Word in the end times. And... Um, that verse right there again proves that the King James Bible is God's book. How so? Well, because every new version is ashamed of the wording of the King James Bible. It's too old, it's too archaic. Uh, we found more, uh, better manuscripts and we have all this new evidence and everything else. No, you're ashamed of the Word of God. Uh, there is nothing new that has come out. Uh, that's nonsense. The Jesuits created the Dewey Reams translation in 1610 and the King James Bible translators had access to it and they did uh, look at it okay that is a fact I've studied the whole manuscript evidence thing they did look at the, the uh, Dewey Reams version so to say well they didn't have access to the the more modern readings that we do that is a lie that's a lie through ignorance many times but a lie nonetheless the translators of the the authorized version later called the King James Bible they had access to the readings of Vaticanus and, and uh, Sinaiticus, I think it was a forged document made in the 19th century, but that's another issue. Um, but <clears throat> they did have access to it. And so there isn't any kind of a special thing now. Oh, we have uh, much more accurate Bibles now than the, what the King James translation. No, that's not true. A lot of these uh, newer readings and whatever, the more accurate readings, they were available in 1610 with the Dewey Reams version. Um, I can put a video at the end to prove that. Um, <clears throat> showing that they were there the whole time. Um, so if you have more than one Bible, then you hate the King James Bible. You hate the Word of God. Just like uh, if I had more than one wife, more than one, one woman. Um, don't tell me that you can have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ through His Word and have multiple contradicting versions. Uh, you have serious problems if that's the case. Uh, you better study the Bible version issue because it is very important. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.